no one promises you anything, no one says it's going to be also for you, but as, a par as parents we, we just have to try, knowing that not, no harm can, can be done. This is our second time here. Now I'm, I'm, I'm being filmed on my second time here, and the first time was really good with Ari. So of course we, we wanted to come back and we couldn't wait for six months to pass by for it to happen. So I'm glad we were here. First of all, on the first few days, you can tell there was a difference because there suddenly was, a, was an eye contact. He looked uh, straight at us, and, and this for me was mind-blowing, because I wasn't used to that. And he started joking with me about stuff, and, and acting foolish, which, which as a father really wanted to happen for my son and with me. As a, my name is Gilad, I'm from Israel, uh, I'm father uh, to Ari, who is almost five. And this is the second time we are here in the clinic in Belgrade. Ari has been, uh, had been diagnosed with uh, ASD at the age of two years and four months. And since then we have been um, reading and trying things. And now he's uh, in a special kindergarten with all the right facilities and uh, professionals who are there to help him. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it wasn't in, it's, it's still not enough for us. We, we want to try to make a change from the inside and not just from the outside. Like, not like behaviorally, also clinically. And uh, this is why we're here and it's our second time and we are happy to come back. In the beginning that he wasn't saying anything, when other babies or infants started saying stuff, um, also, he started walking only at the age of uh, 18 months, and that's only after we did uh, physiotherapy. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, we started getting these warning signs uh, all along the way, and until we got him to a speech therapist, who immediately said you should go and try and evaluate him. And I think we already knew in a way that's going to be mm -hmm. the evaluation and that's what that's what's happened and since then we have been trying our best to uh, to make it better for him well my wife uh, is uh, is very strong I, she's she uh, she's in facebook in many groups in facebook and in one of these groups someone mentioned stem cells and she and, and they sent a link over there for one of her responses and once she started reading about it and fortunately it was a guy from Israel well fortunately for us not for him uh, who has three kids who are uh, also on the spectrum and he, and he had been trying that for many years now and he's, he has a blog of his own and you can see for yourself the results and you can see how improvement they have. Although, uh, I have to say, no one promises you anything. No one says it's going to be also for you, but as, a par as parents, we, we just have to try. Knowing that not, no harm can, can be done. I can't say that I really had concerns once I, I realized there is no, nothing can really happen like bad. We had a big recommendation about this place. Uh, in Israel, a few families uh, had been here already and they talked about the staff who is really warm-hearted and the reception here is really nice and the place is small but very comfortable and it makes, I don't know, my son at least feels very secure. Um, also, yeah, there is the price factor, because we want to do it uh, on a regular basis, like every once in a few months, then this allows us to do it. Uh, um, and yeah, the, the, this is our second time here. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm being filmed on my second time here, and first time was really good with Ari. 
So of course we, we wanted to come back and we couldn't wait for six months to pass by for it to happen. So I'm glad we were here. First of all, on the first few days, you can tell there was a difference because there suddenly was, a, was an eye contact. Mm -hmm. He looked uh, straight at us and, and this for me was mind blowing because I wasn't used to that. And he started joking with me about stuff and, and acting foolish, which, which as a father really wanted to happen for my son and with me as a... Uh, and after that, when he came to Israel, uh, his mom also saw the difference, and um, which was great. I mean, there were many ups and downs during those last six months. Uh, some days were good, some days were bad, and which made us worry many times that it wasn't really working. But we asked questions, and we. Even as today, this still happens sometimes, but we realize this is part of the process and only time will tell if it's, if it's going to work the way we hoped it to be. Um, hope and trying, this is the best combination. You can hope, but still try. And for us, it really did the work and for sure we will be coming back or more because I, I really I really want to see the, the change with my son because this is how you get to we got to really know him what's inside he started talking and and uh, expressing himself and telling stories of what's going on in the kindergarten and these things would never have happened if it wasn't for that I'm, I'm sure of it because I already saw him firmed and I saw him I saw the way he was he was you know, uh, uh, a man of few words, a kid of few, mm -hmm. but now it's, it's all changed and we are very happy.